Be besides that, you know, the example she's given now about family being more than just blood, right? What what um, lessons do we take away from that now? All right, so, so you know, you asked me whether motivation yes. could do it. Yeah. So, and I said no. So kindness, oh. care, genuine empathy and compassion. When I never chop belief, that's what we will tell you. You see? With all this hunger. But, but you know, you... Kindness is a state of mind. Kindness need not be primarily dependent on how much you have in your pocket. Kindness is you seeing me, and from your heart, I genuinely know you're concerned that I'm with crutches, and you smile at me and say sorry. I know, I feel it genuinely. So until we can be kind to the people around us, kindness brought me here. Human kindness, kindness, people who spent I met someone recently who told just last week to say, oh my gosh, you're the one we're praying for in Unilag. And I hugged her. I had no idea my classmates at university went around raising funds. I felt, so there was no reason why I shouldn't have to fight for the next day. There were people hoping and waiting for me so to get out of it. So if you want not to be rid of more things like suicide, yeah. what do we do? We have to genuinely love each other. And we can do that? We have to learn it. We have to learn it. We have to learn it. You know, our society has become so callous. If you go on blogs, if you go on social media, check all the comments. 90% of them are negative. People wow. are bitter. People are angry. People are looking for outlets. They don't know they are killing themselves. When you are kind to someone else, when you show empathy to someone else, you are the first beneficiary. When you are wicked and mean to someone else, you are the first beneficiary. After all, fire is hottest at its source. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's so, coming from. It's yes. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the thing about it is, kindness releases, you know, biochemicals, oxytocin, serotonin. It's called the feel-good hormone. When you are kind to the person that is despondent and hopeless, what happens is when he's surrounded by kindness, there's no way that he's going to continue to sustain that level of hopelessness and despondency. There's absolutely no way chemically that he can. And the chemicals go to his brain. I so find so this will kill themselves. Somebody loved them? Nobody was kind to them? You know, the first thing is, you know, there's this stigma around, you know, mental health, health yeah. around depression. You know, they're telling you, get over it, man. Man up. <laughs> man up. Man up. Men don't man. cry. But how many people do you tell to man up? You know, and that have how malaria. Long? How many people can man up with major <laughs> disease? And, and, and mental and emotional disorders are just like you, 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 you have malaria. You, have you seen someone that malaria has knocked, it's knocked down? down. Mm. Tell him to man up. <laughs> Tell her to man up. It can get and it. we're talking about something physical, though. Yes. That's malaria. Now imagine something psychological and mental. Okay, and I, 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 I would like to pause because we had done, as I did before the last, taking some questions that people might want to address in particular on Twitter. Can I have those questions up on screen so that uh, they can address them? It's not very every day you have um, motivational speakers. Now. <laughs> <laughs> can I have those questions on the street before I continue? Right. Oh, okay. Perfect time to have this question. It says, when is, it right, when is it right to seek medical help? You just talked about it. So this is a, it can be a medical problem. The mental... The, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when is the right time when someone has a mental and emotional disorder? The right time is the first time the people around the person observe and identify the symptoms. The person, Maybe we should make the symptoms more public. Yes. Yeah, so he doesn't want to see anybody anymore. He's not taking calls. Yeah. He's withdrawing. He's not taking a Things bath. Things I used to excite them no longer yeah. excite them. You know, they have no passion anymore. Their talk is about, you What know, if they're quiet people ordinarily? You will know. know. They're not having baths. They're always in their room, no lights. They, they don't want to leave home over the weekend. It's not as if they're watching TV. They're sleeping more than enough. They're not sleeping enough. They are eating more than enough. They are not eating enough. Look, you will really know that something is wrong. Doesn't if, this happen to us at different times in our lives? That sometimes I just want like, oh man. I think this, the things that he's mentioned is over a period of it's time. Co it's so it's continuous. Not... It's not that you are sad. 
or unhappy. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that it's a continuous state. If you are consistently sad, yeah. like the, the psychoanalyst we had last week, if you are consistently sad, consistently, and yeah. there's no change, that's when you begin to realize yeah. that. And okay, but you should seek medical help. What about the stigma that comes with seeking medical, mental health? Okay. Because it's not physical. So what about the stigma that comes with the, that your brother committed suicide? Yeah. I mean, I'm, at what cost do you save a life? Yeah. You okay. know, at what point do you... Okay, for like, sorry, I'm sorry I'm doing this. For like, as Nigerians, we tend to focus more on the spiritual side of our mental health. Ha! That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. I just... Because, but the spiritual side was good for you. Yes. I think that we, when we're starting, you know, um, Nari was saying that, and we all know, every human is made of a spirit, a body, and a soul. And all of these three things must work together to have cohesion in our minds and in our bodies and in our heads and all of that. I think my concern now is about the spiritual leaders understanding that when people come to you with the same thing over and over again, we need to educate them to know how to identify cases where Ma'am, this might not be a problem where we will, we will pray out. Go to a doctor. You may need to meet a doctor. I just had a chat with a psychiatrist a few minutes ago, and she told me that last week, for like the first time, a pastor referred someone to her. Over a period of time, the lady had been going there, and he was think, you know, having a chat with someone, saying this is absolutely not a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand that everybody seek medical help, but still do not leave it at the doorstep of spirituality. Being somebody who's a coach, people come to you for motivation and you find that they actually have a real problem. Has that happened? Oh, yeah. All yeah. the time so, or most of the time? So, so there are three... First of all, we, we have to recognize that we're spiritual beings with mm -hmm. minds mm -hmm. living in earth suits. <laughs> we're not the earth suit. Our real essence is our spirit and our soul. That's the real essence of us, not this physical essence. And so when people come, Right, the first thing for me is to run a scan and identify whether it's a spiritual problem, a mind problem, or, if, or an environmental or physical issue. And if it's spiritual, I recommend that, you know what, you need to go sort this out first. Mm. If it's something that, you know, is more psychological, you know, and you need to see a psychiatrist beyond that on medication, so that the chemical imbalances are be balanced adjusted. Mm -hmm. before you come back and then mm -hmm. we, we now mm -hmm. begin to get you to, mm -hmm. you know, become resilient, understand the patterns and begin to run and create different programs that will create the different outcomes, change your lifestyle, set your, your, your life's vision and goals and then we can hold you through. So, so there are different dimensions of intervention. Like Adenike has said, we need to get to the point where the pastor knows. That this one is not spiritual. There's a level. <laughs> okay, half an hour has gone by. Wow. You know. <laughs> no. So we must round up. We must round up. I want. I mean, round up with nuggets that people must take away from hearing uh -huh. your story. I always say that. I think I repeat it so often. I'm living my life like it's golden. You climb. You climb the Lumo Rock yes. recently. I'm hoping. <laughs> I was to do it. And I haven't done it. I have well, two legs. Focus. Okay. Yes. Focus, and you'll climb. I climbed the Lumo Rock because. I know now what I didn't know then, that there's only one life, and I want to live it optimally. I want to enjoy my life. I was, so your last word would be live life. Live your life like it's golden. <laughs> Simple. And my last word is, you know, borrow you know, a few <laughs> leaves from her, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's really spirit, mind over body. Spirit, mind over body. Yeah, and so. again, back to my question, I'll round off. Motivation works with your mind. And your spirit. To move your body to get it to the level of that spiritual level that no matter what it is, yes. that is bothering you, will focus on the positive rather than the negative. Yes. Correct? Focus yes. is key. Focus Very is key. key. So no matter what, it's never too late until it is over. Yes. I tell myself, you woke up this morning. Yes. So what else? Thank you very much for being my guest Thank on the you. show. Thank you. Thank you, And uh, as we round up, I'm going to show you that this is possible. <laughs> she knew I would do this. No, no, I just want to show, no, just to round up. I don't up. want you to no, trip. As I said, I won't trip, oh. No, it's good night, but <laughs> just to show like this. Mm? Okay. Auntie, don't follow. On your marks. Just set. don't fall. One. It's it's not easy, is it? Eh. Ewo. Don't follow. Ewo. Anyway. <laughs> but it's painful. 
Yes, wow. it is. Sorry, yeah. darling. That's why. Careful. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next week. Bye. She didn't expect that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs>